Yeah, okay. Today we're sending an air tech to Germany, to Bad Homburg, that is south of uh, Frankfurt. And I got it all done and um, had it all stamped and uh, the customs form done, everything inside the post office. And then I went back in the car and then I took the footage from the uh, dashboard camera to show me, uh, to show that I'm putting that um, letter into the letter box. And there it was in Vicar Street. And when it was picked up, it went to the city. The, uh, there's one truck that uh, collects all the mail and then it drives around the place. And here it's very close to my place because that main post office here in Darwin is sort of walking distance from my office. And um, so it went there, spent the night inside the, the post office, and uh, the next day it went to the GAN. The GAN has a, um, a container terminal there where they um, um, load the, the mail into containers and then ship it to, to Adelaide. And here we see the GAN well on its way. Very occasionally one get a, um, a, a ping from, from the air tech, but in the GAN itself it hardly ever happens. And uh, then it arrived in Adelaide and um, in Adelaide, the container was unloaded. There you see all the containers from the GAN that came from Darwin, or going and going to Darwin. And then it went to the post office, and then it was loaded into a truck, and then it went by truck to Melbourne. And on the way, you could see the truck stopping at truck stops and uh, places like petrol stations and things like that. And um, yeah, but I got the, mi the pictures mixed up. <laughs> For one reason or another, it went to the airport in, in, in Adelaide, but that was, I think they picked up some other stuff there and that was it. Yeah, and then it was well on its way and um, the usual thing, it was on the highway, the odd truck stop here and there. And um, I had at the same time another air tag um, sent from Darwin to my hometown in Kiel. And uh, they met up in, uh, in Melbourne. And I thought uh, because uh, that air tag was going from Melbourne that uh, they're going together, but now that, um, but now that didn't happen. They went separate ways. Anyhow, I followed the, um, the air tech um, all the way to Melbourne. And uh, in Melbourne was the same thing. It was just um, spent a very short time there and then got back loaded probably onto another truck and went on its merry ways north to to Sydney. Yeah, the old joke, what was the best thing that ever came out of Melbourne? The Hume Highway to Sydney. And it was interesting to see how many pings I got, a lot more than on the highway from Adelaide to Melbourne. That was quite interesting that so many, so many pings on the way, so I had to edit most of them out. That was just, just too much of it. And here we see again where my four air tags are. There is one in Sydney, and then the one I have on my key ring in Darwin, and um, the one that's going to Kiel, and the one that's going to Sydney. Yeah, and we got closer and closer to Sydney. And the interesting part was um, it stopped a little bit long here at the um, at the truck stop. I don't know what happened there, but it spent a few hours there. Anyhow, we are well on the way to, to Sydney, 
And in Sydney, it did the usual rounds. It went um, up to Yaguna, uh, where the uh, customs post office is. And it got into the mail center there and uh, got sorted. And I was also amazed it only spent a day at the customs uh, post office in, in Yaguna. That was, um, that was uh, very, very interesting. Um, usually it spends two or three days there. That was actually the, um, the um, sort of thing I have experienced in the past. Yeah, it went through several little mail centers and then went to the Australia uh, Post uh, Lodgement Center and from then it went uh, back into a truck and made its way to the airport in, in Sydney. And unfortunately I had a bit of a problem because I had some jobs to do in, in at that time so I didn't have the time to find out what plane it was going on to, so I missed out on that. Uh, yeah, it's sort of, I would have liked to figure out uh, which plane it went to. It was, a, it was a passenger flight, it was not a cargo flight, that's for sure. And um, yeah, that was something I sort of didn't like too much. Yeah, here you see the approach to Darwin Airport, at uh, Darwin, Sydney Airport which is on the other side of the bridge. And uh, that was at the post handling um, facility. And um, it went onto the tarmac, so I could follow it around. And I said, oh, that's a cargo area. So it goes into a cargo plane, but no, it went further. It went to that area. and. From then on, sorry, I didn't have the time to figure out what the uh, flight it was on. It really annoyed the crap out of me. Either. And the next time I saw it was in Abu Dhabi at the airport. And I didn't expect that. I, I said, that is a new route. That didn't happen before. And usually it goes to Dubai. But Abu Dhabi, okay, whatever. Yeah, and then um, it got around the airport a bit. That was another interesting thing I found that uh, it made quite the rounds on the air on the airfield there. And it was only there for a day. And the next time I saw it again was in Frankfurt. So we were close to where we're going to. And in Frankfurt, it did the usual rounds into the uh, post handling facility there. And uh, I got a um, street view shot of that Deutsche Post. Yep. And uh, yeah, from then we went onto a truck again and made the rounds uh, uh, to Bad Homburg. And um, yeah, it was sort of um, slow and yeah. Why it went to Saarbrücken when it went to Bad Homburg, I have no idea, but there must have a reason for that. Anyhow, that was um, the way it should have taken, but anyhow, we went then from Alzerbrücken to Bad Homburg, and in Bad Homburg it was delivered, and uh, a while later it was brought back to the local uh, post office, and sent to friends of mine in Kiel. And it spent a day there at the uh, post office and then it went sort of the usual way in the truck on the autobahn. And it was very, very quick. I was amazed that it went uh, the same way from, from Frankfurt to Bad Homburg and from Homburg back to Frankfurt and then yeah, and then it went straight up north to Kiel. And the main thing for me was to see on the big map sort of the way it took, but yeah, it was on the Autobahn, that's, that's for sure. And there you see the other air tech in, in Kiel already, it already did that. Yeah, and in Kiel, that was interesting. I didn't know the postage facilities there 
but uh, I know the place very well, and yeah, that was so sort of interesting to see how it went from the post distribution center uh, around to the eastern suburbs in in Kiel. By the way, that Ostrink there, that was a place where I lived for many years in, in Kiel, a little bit further down the road. And the um, postman was driving around pretty erratically. It didn't go in a straight way. I was really confused the way it went. But anyhow, it made it all the way to um, a suburb called Alabek but the long way around, the very long way around. <laughs> I was amazed, sort of all the twists and turns and all that, yeah, it was, it was crazy. But it got delivered. It went uh, very close to where it was uh, supposed to be and then still, as you can see, the Ostring there and um, then it was delivered and um, that was the end of that little trip. So next video is that original air tag that I sent to Kiel. Um, I will do that soon. Okay, guys, have a good time. See you later. Bye-bye.